today with class 12 first chapter we begin with the example of preparation of appropriation account and partners capital account in your pdf of the account textbook part 1 if you see chapter 1 in that the eight question is given so everyone please check out that question a the line is that is the harpa achira are partners of a firm on 1460 1460 their capital is now you remember in class 11 we have already learned the ledger posting so here the same ledger of capital account is to be prepared but in partnership as we have more number of partner that many columns are to be prepared in this we have two partners so we need two capital column for each partner partner 1 harpal his capital balance is 60000 so capital is a liability of the business so the balance to be written on the credit side so 60000 
so when you work out the figure you will get the figure for interest on drawing become an income for the firm so that will come on credit side of appropriation account for herbal it is 1350 for chirag it is 450 outer column become 1800 now this is income for firm so become expense for the partner and that's why it will come on debit side of partner's capital account so to interest on growing in the column of herbal 1350 and in the column of chirag that is 450 so in this manner the interest on capital and interest on growing Are done. 1000 per month payable to her part for his active role in the firm. So her part that he is a active member. So he is entitled to get salary over and above profit. So one month one thousand, twelve month become twelve thousand. So it is an income only for one partner. So that will go on the credit side of capital account. Thirty first March seventeen. That is by salary. Salary to her pal twelve thousand rupees. Now next is why five percent commission on divisible profit is payable to Chira. Now commission. Five percent on divisible profit. So you need to know first of all what is the divisible profit. So commission what you have worked out that depends on the profit. Do the higher side total first. See in the last line it is say the profit of the firm on thirty first March seventeen was seventy nine thousand four hundred. This figure. You have derived from the example and transfer that profit from PNL general to the PNL appropriation. So the general entry for this is that PNL general account debit to PNL appropriation account credit. So on credit side of appropriation, seventy nine thousand four hundred. That is figure from the given example. You have to take. Now you do the total seventy nine thousand four hundred plus eighteen hundred. Total comes eighty one thousand two hundred. This is the total income. Write the same on the debit side and minus the figure of your salary as well as interest on capital. You will get the difference. The difference is rupees fifty thousand. So fifty thousand is the divisible profit. Of this profit, five percent to be calculated. So that will come two thousand five hundred. Now the two thousand five hundred that is two commission to be given to Chira. So two thousand five hundred put in outer column become an expense for the business and the same become. In the column of Chira. So in this manner, you have to state the interest on capital, salary, commission, drawings, interest on drawing, opening balance. What is given? So all these posting regarding partners are done from the PNL appropriation to the capital account. The last thing from the Thousand. When you subtract further two thousand five hundred, you will get the figure forty-seven thousand five hundred. That is what the divisible profit. Now, in the example, it is not mentioned that whatever amount of drawings to uh, whatever the divisible distributed profit. So ratio. Not mentioned so that here partners capital account 
than 50. So this distributed profit again become income for the partner to be returned on the income side of capital account. Profit and loss appropriation transfer divisible profit in 1 is to 1 ratio. So this way your entire capital account gets over. Now you need to find out that how much is the balance, the remaining balance. What you need to do is the higher side total to be done first. Write the same on the opposite side. Find the difference. The difference become the division that is balance carry forward. This balance to be shown on the liability side of <coughs> capital account. So the total is 1,2950 <coughs> and the capital remain of the third part is 86,600. Like of Chira, the total is 1,28,250 and the difference to be transferred that is 1,70,800. So in this manner, the partner's capital account as per fluctuating method. Only one capital account to be prepared and under this method, normally the balance remain credit and that balance to be shown on the liability side of balance sheet. So this is how today we have done the first example in which appropriation account and capital account both are to be prepared which is going to be a part of your partnership final account example. I hope you all have understood how the interest on capital and drawing to be calculated as well as commission to be calculated. Now, example, on 1-12-16, Harpal has given a loan of 30,000 to the firm is given. Here it is said that there is no provision for the interest on loan. So, when there is no provision, 6% rate of interest to be given as per the Partnership Act. He is asking for 11%, but there is no need to give that 11%, only 6 to be given. But see the last line, the profit to the firm is that is 79,400 before above mentioned provisions but underlined after charging interest on loan of Harpa. So that 6% is also already calculated and after that the profit is derived. So where we have done our example, 79,400 with that profit we have done and we have not given any effect of interest or loan given by her part because already that effect was there before at time of calculating this profit. So that particular aspect not to be counted in the our appropriation neither in the capital account. Yeah. Now today's homework is your question number 10 and question number 12 to be done as a homework. Question 9 is there that is as per the fixed capital method that we will be doing tomorrow. So complete these two questions as a homework. All the doubts are clear that how the capital account to be prepared. Keep in mind your basic rules of accounting and 11 standard the ledger posting what we have learned. Appropriation account is governed by the rule of nominal account, debit all expenses, debit all income. Clear? And here the capital account is a personal account governed by the rule of the person. Okay, debit the receiver, credit the giver. So in this manner both the accounts are to be done. So do the homework and complete your task. Thank you.